Hello there! I am bringing you my favorite recipe that I have developed over the years and have been enjoying it very often in my family, Vietnamese grilled pork. This is a very well liked dish. You can make batches of these ready for a nice summer party or like me, I would grill this any time of the year. This can be enjoyed with vermicelli, noodle, rice or just by itself. Let's start with some dry ingredients. I love having five spices in my recipe. Basically, there's clove, star anise, cinnamon, peppercorn, and cilantro seeds are the main basic spices. You can get these from your local Asian store or check on Amazon in case some of you do not get access to the local store. A quarter teaspoon will do. Too much will be very bitter. Next, is a teaspoon of garlic powder. If you are for it, then a teaspoon of fresh garlic will even better. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of sugar, a tablespoon of chicken powder is totally optional. Next is also optional. I have paprika and annatto powder. In traditional Vietnamese cooking, we like to have some color in our food. Meat can be pale, so it's often add caramel or annatto for some sort of color. Let's move on to our wet ingredients. Two tablespoons of fish sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I use low sodium one. A tablespoon of sesame oil for some nutty flavor. It's optional if you don't have it. I love sesame oil, so I'm gonna use one. One tablespoon of oil. This is to keep the meat moist and shiny. And add two if you don't have the sesame oil. You can use honey or maple syrup. Costco syrup is large, so I use it for cooking a lot. Three tablespoons of either one will be fine. Adding the oil first helps the syrup comes off the spoon much easier. I always have hoisin sauce in the house for pho. You can add two tablespoons of this, or if you have barbecue sauce, this will help too. This will help the ingredients to stick to the meat. Since I don't like adding mustard, so this works very well for me. And then stir all up well. This should be a little thick. Give it a taste. I'm looking for a little salty and a little sweet. This is my homegrown lemongrass. If you can find some, this would be awesome. Three tablespoons will be enough for me. On to our meat. I'm using Boston's butt today. Pork shoulder is also a good fit for this recipe. I like to have some fat in between the meat so when I grill it, the fat drips onto the grill and the smoke and the fire comes up and makes my meat smell even better. I am going to grill this on the grill so I want the pieces that are large enough that won't fall through the grate. I hate it when my food fall off the grill cracked. You know, traditional Vietnamese recipe require pork chops. Marinate with secret ingredients and then grill over the red hot charcoal on the side of the street and let the wind carry the aroma from far, far away. I remember being pulled by the aroma into the wind to where the grill part was. In the morning, I immediately want to have a dish of rice with pork chops and sweet fish sauce for the morning breakfast. And now, I can have this any time of the day, even in the rain, yes. I finished cutting up about five pounds of pork. Toss in the potion to make sure everyone get a coat of that sauce. You can wrap this up and leave this in the fridge for a couple of hours before grill to give the sauce a chance to infuse into the meat. I put these in two quart size Ziplocs and mark them. These will go into my freezer for another day. Just throw these babies on the super hot grill. Turn the heat down to medium if your pieces are thicker and let them go for five minutes on each side. Let the fat drift onto the grill. The fire comes up, the smoky that create that craziness smell that makes all the neighborhood ones to come over for dinner. 
a little char on the outside, shiny, brownish, and reddish color instead of pale. All right. I promise you that it smells so good. It smells so good right now. So during weekday, if I want some grilled pork with rice, I just take it out and defrost it in the fridge. The thinner the package, the faster it will defrost. I often do this when I come home after 6 p.m., start the rice cooker, turn on the grill, go change into my PJs, pop these babies on the grill for five minutes on each side in between flipping. I cut up my cucumbers and tomatoes, and voila! I even have enough for the next day's lunch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did to let me know. If you want more Vietnamese Asian home cooking, you gotta click that red subscribe button. You've got to subscribe so you don't miss a single video every week. Thanks for watching as always. Bye bye.